Hi there, this is Save a Crypto. Okay, so first of all, I did that silly intro yesterday, and uh, uh, congratulations, Elijah Williams, who correctly guessed I was trying to be Crypto Rover. Big shout out to Dan Crypto Rover. If you ever want to be bullish about anything, just watch his channel. I just wanted to show you what was going on with my Ethereum trade. You might have noticed I did that update, not actually a video, but I did this post sort of saying uh, that I wasn't feeling the ETH long so much, so... I moved the take profit down and I also said that I might move the st stop loss up. Well, what I actually did was I did move the stop loss up and actually moved it up to about 2676, I think it was. And uh, the, the price came down, it hit the stop loss. And uh, yeah, so it was a bit of a rubbish trade really because I entered at 2640 and I came out at 2675. So the actual profit was a uh, point that of uh, ethereum yeah that was worth about 60 dollars so uh, i'm not going to retire on that it, the point was the trade closed and i came out in a profit because i pushed the stop loss into profit uh, so what i thought i'd do was re-enter and what i'm looking at is the fact that we're here now which is uh down quite a lot isn't it so if i get a rectangle tool you can see here that there was quite a lot of action at that kind of price okay and you could probably also say that maybe that kind of price as well so I think what I'm looking at is entering kind of around 2565 and then maybe having a second entry but obviously what I'd like to do is try and catch another low like it just did there so I might say 2520 2526 let's go for that so I'm on Ethereum USD Inverse Perpetual and I'm going to go limit 25, 26 and I'm going to use quarter of the account and I'm on 5x leverage, which I think will be okay. Let's just see what it says the liquidation price would be. Okay, so estimated liquidation price is 2,122. I think that's okay. Let's go for that. So confirm that. And then I want to put this second order in so let's go for something like 23.83, 23.83. So if the price comes down to here, the first order will trigger, it comes down to here, the second one will trigger. And then what I'll do is I'll look at what the liquidation price is. And then with the other half of the account, I'll probably put uh, another entry further down near to that, just in case it goes down that far. But I honestly do think we're nearly at a bottom because things can't come down this sharply for so long, you know, without some kind of relief rally. And if you look what Bitcoin did, so what it did, which I'm not completely happy about, is it did drop out of my parallel channel a little bit, but it has kind of almost popped back in. So I'm kind of hoping that it will continue like that. But if you go to that chart I was looking at yesterday with the big long trend line in, you can see here it did actually slightly zoom in a bit it did actually slightly drop below that trend line which is a little bit worrying but it is back above now so i just want it to stay there and hopefully it will follow this fractal that i put there yesterday uh, but we'll see anyway so that's what i'm doing but for god's sake don't just follow what i'm doing uh do think for yourself uh, i'm just doing this to sort of show you how the platform works uh because if you want to use bybit uh, you can get up to a $4,050 bonus depending on your deposit by using the link in the description down below or going to savecrypto.org slash bybit. So here you go. I mean, Ethereum's there. There's my limit order there. There's the other limit order. And uh, you know, the temptation is always to kind of push that up and just get it filled. But, you know, it, it always goes wrong if you do that. So um, it's best just to wait to see if the price comes down. And if it doesn't, doesn't really matter because this is a uh, inverse perpetual trade, which means I'm actually holding the Ethereum anyway. So if the Ethereum goes up in price, then happy days. And if it comes down in price, then my order triggers and uh, I'm going to trade with it. And uh, hopefully it will then go back up in price and that's when you make the money. But we'll see what happens. Uh, now, I uh, did notice yesterday from that post, uh, Mr. Anti-Eggman said, thanks for the update. No worries. Um, Millennium Freedom says, wrecked. Um, and I wasn't wrecked uh, because I moved that stop loss into profit 
and uh, as you, as I said, uh, it made about $60. It's not, not amazing, but uh, at least I didn't lose any. So we'll see what happens with this next one anyway. Anyway, so probably many of you are wondering why I'm not talking about the Maya decks so much at the moment. And uh, it's not because everything's gone down in price. Well, it is sort of, but uh, it's just there's not a lot to say at the moment. Uh, there is some stuff happening on the 10th of May. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's something. If anybody knows, please remind me in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a new new meta staking or something. Uh, but yeah, looking at my watch list on TradingView, I did notice that everything's in the red um apart from e-gold which is slightly up i know it's majorly down from where it was but e-gold versus bitcoin is actually up 2.51 percent which got me thinking about the challenge farm you know the one where we started off with two thousand dollars and at the moment it's probably something quite pitiful let's have a look yeah, so the actual total account balance is actually 1476, which is pretty rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, that's 26.2% down, uh, which is pretty rubbish. I wonder what it would be if we'd have just bought e-gold at the start and then hung on to that. I wonder what that would be worth now. Because we started it on January the 15th, so let's have a look. Yeah, so the price on January the 15th was uh, it was pretty much 200, 200 bucks. So let's say we bought e-gold at about $200. And then today it would actually be it would actually be forty two percent down. So by doing the farming, we've kind of hedged against the loss quite a bit. In fact, quite substantially so. So the point being, at the moment, the balance is actually slightly bigger now. It's one thousand five hundred. Uh, I mean, it's quite feasible that that the the price of e gold could double in value from here to go up to say two thirty. And when that happens, you know, the farm would be worth more like $3,000. It's just a real shame that all of crypto has been like going down since the start of this year, really. So let's look forward to it all going back. But of course, meanwhile, you know, do accumulate. If you have the ability to get some more e-gold or Bitcoin or whatever, it's a good time to get it. Let's just see if there's anything I can do today. Yeah, I could probably harvest this mix here. So let's do that. Okay, confirm. Okay, so that's that one. And then there's the meta staking as well. Yeah, this ride here. So you can see there's actually only a tiny bit of hollow ride, but there is $18 worth of locked mix, so that's worth having. So let's do that. And then I'm just going to restake that locked mix, the first bit. And the remaining part here. Okay, so that's all done. Let's just see if that ride's worth doing anything with. Uh, $3.41 worth of ride. I'm not even sure if that's enough to restake, actually. Let's have a look. Okay, that's all done. Obviously, I did cut some bits out of the video there just to speed things up a little bit because you've seen this a million times before. Anyway, since I started making this video, it looks like uh, Bitcoin's showing a little bit of life. Not a lot, but uh, it'd be nice to see. Nice to see it get back to, uh, I don't know, even like the proper mid-30s and then upper 30s. That'd be good. But let's see what happens. I mean, it's Sunday, so not a lot's going to happen until the Asian markets open in about uh, seven or eight hours, I think it is. And uh, hopefully we'll see some movement to the upside then. If not, I'll be looking for more longs down here. And uh, also my Ethereum trade will probably trigger as well. So that's what's happening today. Usual Sunday kind of ramblings. And uh, I'm probably off to put me roast potatoes on now. So uh, just wishing you all a happy Sunday. Anyway, if you've enjoyed watching this, please give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you've got the notifications on all. Leave a nice comment and above all, turn